Okay, guys, it's me. You know me. Uh, I figured I'd hook you guys up, show you guys basically how to change the color of your car in Photoshop because so many people want to know. And uh, why not? I'm a nice guy. I help you out. First thing you have to do, I'm going to show you on both a really high glossy car, a black car, and this one, which is obviously going to be easier. But we'll get to that. First, you want to select the area that you want to change color of. I've already done it. You can see here, cut it all out. And then you want to copy and paste that so you have a different layer. Uh, I brought the background back just so I can see how it's going to look whenever I mess with it. But the first thing I do before anything is I go up here to the image tab and adjustments. Hue and saturation. I change the take the saturation all the way down to make it all black and white. It's just easier to work with. It takes all those extra colors out that you don't want. And it helps out a lot. It can also help give the more of a, a matte look of a Plasti Dip. So, after that, I go to my layers, go to the layer style, color overlay. Now, it's going to look like just someone painted inside the, the area there, but what you need to do is change this. Your blend mode Multiply usually works very well. Um, as you can see, it really took on all the shading of the, of the car, gave you a good color, and you can mess with your opacity to see, you know, whatever you want. Also, using overlay could work for certain different different cars use different blend modes. So just mess with that, and uh, that helps a lot. We will make this car. A dark blue. So we're going to go with multiply. We're going to pick a blue that we like. That looks good. And if you really want to give it a deeper look, add a satin layer over top of that. Take the size all the way up so it goes all the way to the edges of the vehicle. And you can mess with your, your opacity again. Darker, lighter. And that is basically how you do it. Um, certain colors have different effects, so this is simple for basic colors. I mean, I mean that car is blue now. But if you want to do a color like Firebelly Orange or something, you're not going to get it with just one and color overlay. What you need to do is pick your base color. Okay? I mean that's pretty orange. I mean that's pretty pretty reddish orange there. The problem is is it's not fluorescent and bright like the actual fire belly. So what you do is you take your overlay color, it's under multiply, it's this this orangish red color, and then you add an inner glow over that. Now take your inner glow size the whole way up so it goes the whole way around the car. And then take the choke the whole way up. Right there. And so it gets that whole car. And then you want to take this for fire belly orange, make it yellow. See now the car looks yellow, but you change your blend mode from screen to overlay there. And now it's orange, but it also has that fluorescent glare to it. And you can adjust that however you see fit with the opacity. And that, that really helps with the fluorescent colors doing that, that extra inner glow layer to get the effect. It's very simple. And now I'm going to show you... Well, here, that's Firebelly Orange right there. Bam. Kadoosh. Booyah. Money. Okay? This guy is now going to dip his Ferrari Firebelly Orange because it looks so good. 
Now I want to show you how hard it is to do a color change on something like this. First of all, it's black. Black could be easy to work with if there's not a lot of glares, but in this picture there's a lot of glares. And a lot of people have troubles with trying to change the color on their glares and they don't know why, and they don't know what to do. Well, it's just because it's shiny and it's going to reflect a whole lot of color overlay that you put on there. So, again, select your area like I did here. And again, what I'm going to do is take the saturation all the way down. Some pictures will change a lot, some won't. And then, I'm going to go back up here to image, and I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to take my exposure up just a little bit, and you'll see the car get lighter. Because we want to get some of those shadows out of the bottom of that car there. Now there's a lot of glares on this car, because it's so shiny, so that's causing a problem. But, I'm also going to go over here, back to adjustments, go over to shadows and highlights. Now it's going to automatically take your, your shadows 50% and your highlights all the way down. Now you want to take your shadows up as much as you can without making it too pixelated because it's going to make your car a lot lighter from it being that black that it was and it'll help with the color overlay in the end. This car is very shiny, it's going to cause a lot of problems, but we'll figure it out. So once you got that set, a lot of times, with this car it's going to be very hard because there's so many reflections in the picture, but a lot of times you can go up to your filter and go under blur, go under surface blur here, um, and adjust the settings that you see fit. Make sure this preview thing is clicked so you can see what it's going to look like. And if you do a surface blur, you can take some of those glares out and make the finish look more matte. Too much blur, though, is going to mess up your photo. So there, you can already see it already looks a little better. See back and forth there. So we'll leave it at that. And then we'll just go back, do a color overlay. A lot of times it could help to first do the color overlay over black as a white to make it a lighter color because the black is so dark. But in this case, we use soft light because that's that works the best on this car. And then I would add a satin layer over that. With whatever color I want. There. Make it red. And then there you have it. It is now red. Um, obviously, pictures that are better resolution and less glare work so much better. But, you know, I mean, some people got what they got, and that's what you gotta work with. But, um, I hope that helps, guys, and, uh, Jigaka out.